Hey guys, welcome to your um, love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your um, first half of your September from the 1st to the 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collector messages for the collective um, for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn and love and the person that they are connecting with for the uh, first half of their September from the 1st to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs for Capricorn. <clears throat> and we have the Five of Wands. And we have the Two of Pentacles here. And there is definitely conflict here because it's due to someone here juggling here. Yeah, it's due to someone juggling. And I feel like, you know, there's a situation here, Capricorn, that you could be fighting about the same thing over and over and over again. Yeah, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like something ended here or something will end because of the juggling here. Yeah, two, uh, two of Pentacles, a World card. And we have the Two of Cups. And also the Ace of Cups here and the Three of Swords. Yeah, um, someone here is definitely broken hearted. You know, some, someone here is definitely feeling very left out in the cold here. Someone here is feeling very insecure here, feeling like they're not good enough here. You know, whoever treated you this way, or if someone here is treating you this way, you know, I do feel like it's important for you to know that, you know, however this person is treating you has nothing to do with you. It has more so, you know, what's going on with them, you know, in their inner world here. And, you know, um, and you know and they are basically projecting it onto you okay so we have the five of pentacles here two of pentacles and the king of swords libra aquarius gemini could be dealing with the air sign here the world card and the moon cancer pisces energy yeah, this person has a tendency to keep secrets here. Yeah, the, this person has a tendency to keep secrets, you know, and I feel like, you know, I feel like you fell deeply in love with this individual. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Ace of Cups, and the Three of Cups. You know, after some sort of disagreement here, after some sort of ending here, I do feel like someone here is definitely going to try and make plans to come back around to reconcile here with you. I feel like their intentions is to basically get this relationship back on track here. Some of them may, may be feeling like they made a mistake or that this person feels like, you know, they, you know, should have known better. But yeah, I do feel like some of them is, is, is coming back around and you could have moved on from this. Tell me more. The person that Virgo, not Virgo, Capricorn is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Capricorn? Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords. Someone here is trying to win you back here, Capricorn. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Fool, Aries, Energy, and the Three of Pentacles.
Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here, and the Ten of Wands. It feels like this person's not willing to let you go. You know, they're coming in with a love offer here. They're coming in with communication, trying to work things out here. Looking for a new beginning here, but I feel like you don't want this here. With the Knight of Swords here and the Hermit, Virgo energy. This person will take some time away for you, from you, but I feel like this person will come back around trying to reignite this connection here. I mean, they might even reach out to you, Capricorn, for like a booty call here. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person hasn't really taken time to really truly introspect and self-reflect here. And really come to a conclusion of why, what they did wrong. We have the Knight of Cups here, Knight of Swords. We have also the Knight of Wands. This person's very in and out, very flighty here, very inconsistent, very in, uh, like not very reliable here. We have the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups here and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, here's the thing. I feel like this person's definitely going to go out and explore other options here, Can, like again. And I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person's basically showing you, you know, who they are and what they're about. And I feel like it's really important for you to trust it, trust what you see here. Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups here. I don't feel like this person's willing to cut out the other options here. Okay, so the juggling will continue. What else do we have here for Capricorn? What else does Capricorn need to know? Look out for work on for the first half of their September from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. For Capricorn. Two of Swords and the Six of Wands. We have the Four of Swords and the Justice card, Libra Energy. And also the Two of Wands and Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Moving forward here, I feel like you made a decision to walk away from the situation here, Capricorn. I feel like you're going to focus on your healing. You know, focusing on finding balance here, focusing on building and trusting your intuition, and trust your inner, uh, your higher self here at this time. You know, I feel like your body is definitely resisting this person if they're coming back around trying to communicate here with you. We have the Two of Swords here and the Nine of Wands, the Devil and the Six of Wands here. This person is definitely operating, operating from a place of the ego here. You know, you don't really care, but, you know, I do feel like whatever you're about to do here, it's going to bruise their ego. Yeah, I do feel like you're going to bruise their ego. You're going to turn the tables on this individual here with the Wheel of Fortune here and the Four of Swords by ignoring this person and basically focusing on your healing here. So I'm like taking back control of your own life here because I do believe that this person could be a bit or a lot controlling. Okay, so we have the Star card, Aquarius Energy. The two, uh, the High Priestess and the Three of Wands. Also, we have Temperance here and the Tower here. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like, you know, basically you're dodging a bullet with this person again, you know? Or that you're, this is maybe the first bullet that you dodge with this person, but some of you guys could have dodged several bullets, but then you guys might have gone back to this person here. But yeah, I do feel like, you know, this person here is definitely feeling like their ego is bruised because you're ignoring them and that you're turning the tables on them and that, yeah, this person is facing their karma in a way here. Yeah, this person's paying karma. Like, you've turned the tables on them. You have ignored them here. You know, we have the Page of Wands, Aries, Eel, Sagittarius, Energy, and also the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, they're hoping for, like, a new beginning here. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about a new beginning here. They can't stop thinking about you. I mean, I, I really, uh, I, I mean, it's kind of perplexing. Uh, you know, so, sometimes people's behavior can be very, very, very weird. You know, I've been doing this for a long time and all I could say that people can be very, very, very weird. 
it stems from an unhealed a part of themselves and they feel like that's why they behave this way. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.